your loved ones who are over a particular age or dealing with a particular ailment, their chances of beating COVID are slim to none. So we don't want to bestow our own theories onto people when we do not have the significant proof to do so. Please do not give out medical advice or or overly aggressive opinions regarding both COVID and the vaccine. Immunologists are the individuals, the only individuals who should be attempting to provide information to us. I have been executing some very enlightening discussions, groups, to help grow the authentic knowledge that we have. When we think about the vaccine, we must first remember that this is something that we don't have time to think about. If we choose the wrong thing and we walk out into public three hours from now, we will either get COVID or we don't know at this point. So I'm gonna dive into the vaccine types. You have vaccines that utilize the DNA. You have vaccines that utilize mRNA. You have vaccines that are two doses and you have vaccines that are one dose. The most recommended vaccine is the double dose, which is offered by Pfizer and Moderna, and it does contain the mRNA. The same way that a typical vaccine kind of injects that virus in you, a deadened version of the virus into you, the mRNA is basically something to communicate with the protein spikes in your body. It does the job of the scientist while in your body. The mRNA is being implanted into your body to recognize foreign objects and to react to foreign objects. The reason why people prefer the double dose over the single dose, why it's recommended the double dose over the single dose is because the double dose is more likely to protect you from the new strains of the virus that are coming out. Once you get the first dose of the vaccine, the second dose helps to combat new strains that are coming in. For the AstraZeneca, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, Johnson & Johnson has had several issues. There are sites that had to seize the administering of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine because of adverse reactions. There is a plant that was producing the AstraZeneca vaccine. Johnson & Johnson was placed by the government in control of that particular plant that had the compromised vaccine. If one were to bite you, a stranger were to bite you, you would go to the hospital and the doctor would recommend that you get a tetanus shot. In that moment, would you turn down a tetanus shot that would protect you from possibly any disease that this person that has bitten you, would you turn down a tetanus shot? Would you not get a tetanus shot for that? That is what you have to ask yourself. As you're in the hospital, you have no research on tetanus shots. When you are making decisions in your life, believe what your eye can see, not what a theory wants you to believe. Believe what your eye can see. People who say that COVID is just a remix or the same as the flu, that is absolutely L-I-E. Tell someone who has lost their entire family to COVID. But in the mass numbers of COVID, it, it's anybody. It's seemingly healthy people that are passing away due to COVID. The Johnson & Johnson is the single dose vaccine and it contains DNA. Something that you want to remember, if you do schedule to get the vaccine, do not, do not, do not, do not take any over-the-counter medications prior to 
getting your vaccine. There are so many people that are coming back and stating, I did not know that I could not take over the counter when I was getting my vaccine. You cannot do that. Some of the side effects that I have received back from those that I'm surveying is that they experience an arm pain that radiates over into their chest. There was also a mother, her rhythmic beat changed directly after getting the shot. So her doctor states that no time in the near future will she ever be able to go back for the shot. People with underlying conditions, people who do not visit the doctor regularly for full physicals, full physicals have a very, very, very low, low chance of beating COVID. COVID attacks your respiratory system and it doesn't have to touch any other part of your body, but it definitely attacks your respiratory system. So for a lot of us who assume that we are healthy, we contract COVID and then as we are battling the COVID, we find out that either our lung, lungs are not strong enough to combat the virus or we've been dealing with something that we did not realize we were dealing with. Those who are extremely affected by the vaccines, that is something that you would know because as a child growing up, you had those type of reactions to either the vaccine or you would just had a bad out in general. It's not where people are just taking the vaccine and checking out. But I will say, this is one of the most frequently asked questions. What are the differences between the two? That's the mRNA, that's the DNA, that's the double dose, the two doses, or that is the single dose. I do not recommend taking rewards or incentives for getting the, the uh, vaccine. If you have had COVID, you do have antibodies in your body that protect you from the virus. However, I will be vaccinating when the time and the research and the proof is delivered to us. I am not anti-vaccination. I want to travel and I do not wish to see anybody else perish from such a plague as COVID. My name is Monique R. Mitchell and I'm done speaking.